Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. Kai's Rake as Mexico. Let us continue off where we last left off. So, I was thinking, like, we could just declare war on the American, on the United States right now. But I think we should more or less be okay. The war against this PSA is going to be happening in two more days. And I think we should be able to win pretty easily. Again, I don't know if other people are going to be a non-aggression pact. Oh, that's kind of funny. Um, You guys go up here. How many planes do you have? About a thousand. Okay, so we definitely cannot compete with you there. They all want non-aggression packs, huh? Guys, we'll march up like this. Let's go take over our Los Angeles. I think it's funny that that's what the AI wants to do. Why is why are so many people trying? To, why is Uruguay supporting you? I'm guessing because I'm at war with them, and South America doesn't really like me right now. Paraguay's clear war on Argentina. So I should at least get some of these guys off of my... No, it's not actually going to do anything like that at all. Almost everybody in South America is actually sending volunteers to the United States. So I feel like I've kind of done something strange here. Like, are they even supporting everybody over here as well? Yes. Chile, I mean, you kind of expect Chile to support the CSA. But the fact that all of South America is sending volunteers to the United States is odd. And it's definitely not something that you would normally see in, um... Okay, so you can and did declare independence. Um, we did kind of see this coming. Uh, so we're gonna make you into red army Find you you're gonna be on the front line here. Just you know holding out for now. How many men do you have? Three to five Okay, definitely probably should not have deployed them on the, the very front lines That was definitely a mistake okay, But you have taken San Diego I think it's pretty pretty good you're going to need to send some men down south, though, aren't we? How long until you're there? You're going to be there in one day, 15 hours. You're going to be in there in two days. So you should be fine. As long as we can, like, hold this line. I'm fine with Yucatan just kind of existing. Good win here. We're holding out here as well. Like, we could get an aggression pack with all these guys, but probably doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's like we knew they were going to do this. 12 attack is horrible. Do not attack anymore. Japan's declared war on the Far Eastern Republic. That should be good for us, because the um, the Japanese were supporting the PSA. So it should get their troops out of there. They got, what, a month to win this war? How many boats do you have? Zero? Okay, so we already immediately will have NATO supremacy in this region. We got the Capitalist Alliance. Um, research people's 5%. But centralized command a little bit here. Oh, okay, actually what I can do now is also just, um, why are you going? Stay here. Oh, 
gonna take you 22 hours. We like to get us around on these guys. Are all the Spanish? Okay, so the Spanish Civil War is also breaking out now. We should take Ale soon. Again, you have three to five divisions. We know that there's two in here. Okay, yeah, people are joining the Belgrade pack. That's good for them. Don't really care that much, though, to be honest. Nash will take over in the Netherlands. That's completely all right. So with this now capture, we're going to keep on pushing our way up. They just have so many men. And the only thing I can really rely on is the other factions also going towards the PSA. Do you have any planes? I don't think so. So we can actually send our planes down to here. I don't know how much air superiority is actually going to modify this. Probably about like 0.2% or something like that, but it is better than nothing. what a year yeah about a year until this war is over keep on moving our troops this way where's where's the bonus to fighting in the um i actually probably want that desert training huh we are going to be in the desert soon um, we are capturing a decent amount of factories away from the... The PSA. We need steel. We'll get that still from the French. And this guy's got to be dead soon. Like, soon he's just gonna have no organization at all. What's, what, what's he at? 3.5? As soon as I hit zero, he basically just gonna, like, disappear. There you go. But that is about half their army just killed outright, just through, uh, through clever, clever planning. I think trying to get in the circle and all these guys, we only, again, we only have 10 divisions. Um, so it's going to be very, very risky to actually do anything with it. Um, let's get some heavy tanks. Again, what we're really looking for is... I mean, for the PSA to capitulate, they're already like halfway dead. I just want the manpower that I would like. We have air support, which is giving us a negative 10% penalty. Come on, moving this way. I don't believe we can use like these two divisions to keep on pushing our way down south, even though it would be nice. See if you're gonna drain all of your organization on me. If they, if you do, that would be nice. So I can counterattack and kill you. 
if you could just be so kind as to do that. Okay, because you're refusing to do so. So, our air superiority is a, yeah, negative 0.9%. So, it's not really changing too much the landscape here. We, we know that MacArthur's going to lose. No question about that. The question really is... Oh, you guys can actually march in this province pretty easily, which means that you can actually march your way over here. We actually could get a surround. If we do something like this. Get us around on four divisions. One of them is Uruguayan. Not sure if that's actually how you pronounce it or not, but... I mean, I think the war is going pretty alright, all things considered. We do need more men to fight in this war, though. We can deploy two more divisions. Put you guys here. Don't trade any more. Put reinforcements on max. You guys should be surrounded. Surprisingly, you guys still have supplies, though. I'm not too sure. Maybe, maybe, maybe they just haven't run out of supplies yet. That might be the case. Getting that desert training, I think, would be nice. All leg the units. It's just a fantastic way of putting it. Um, or do we want something over here? Like, coming rate's not bad. What, what's War Support going to help us out with? Our mobilization, mobilization speed is kind of bad at the moment. But actually, let's go for these. Get these three factories. like this. We're resisting our occupation. A very, very rude thing to do, I would say. I mean, we could try to do a naval invasion to, like, this port. And if we know they only have two divisions, one's here, and I believe one's just sitting in their capital. So the naval invasion should work uh, without a hitch, really. Okay, construction two done. Um, let's go for. You know, let's go for an anti-air so we can put them in some of our units. Even though again our output is not great right now, once we have. One, all of our territory back from the PSA. We should be in a pretty okay position. We have a bonus right now to you, right? What, what, what is it? What is it for? It was for um, a yeah, grand battle plan. Get this here to work. I think the PSA just actually is was not prepared to uh, fight against us. Which is wonderful. I'm actually apparently losing this battle, which is... A bit of a shame, but we can get us around here. Capture another city. We might be able to march our way straight into San Francisco very soon. Honestly. Um. When will you be ready to go for naval invasion? Four 
four more days, like three more days. Why are you taking attrition? You're in the jungle, okay. Anyways, um... I guess you need Neo's pretty already in both regions, huh? Is that our entire Navy six ships? Yes. We don't have enough information about all these other attacks. Okay. We can definitely kill you off. Like, what happens if I lose this? We definitely need to beat you. We need to beat you, Katan. No doubt about that, but really it's like nobody has, nobody else has the naval capacity to really do anything. Okay, well then, don't take the port. What if we land in here instead? And then try to march our way to, uh, like, eh, like here, get us around. We know there are one actual guys in our capital right now. So let's get us around going. I mean, how long would it take for us to build a port here? It won't happen because they're in combat right now. It's understandable. But if you're going to be in multiple combats, hopefully that can give us a little bit of a bonus. You can fight against this one mountaineering division. We definitely need more men on the front. I know we don't have the resources necessary to actually get this stuff done. You abandoned the capital, huh? I mean, holding it's fine. If we can get the naval invasion to go behind them to work. They're also gonna be considered in multiple combats. Like, you have no supplies, right? No. As soon as this is cleaned up, we can kind of turn our attention back northwards. Of course, we want to take over San Francisco. It would be foolish not to. You'll be there in 17... Why do you have... I don't know why he has so much attrition. It's a great question. They should fall. With San Francisco dead, we've gotten the PSA down to 35%. Five more factories means we put more stuff into infantry equipment. Just keep on building convoys for now.
Something like this. It really is going to take you 17 days to walk through two provinces, huh? I mean, this should be the end of the war then, right? As soon as you um, go here, we'll win, deploy all of red up to the north. Obviously. Now that pocket has been cleaned up. You are still good. I don't know why this man looks like he's kind of part skeleton, but... Okay, so we've pacified them. We have a lot of political power right now, so we should be doing some stuff here. Partial mobilization, yes. Um, the one guy who's just like a 10% attack. You know, artillery attack going up would also be nice. Trade with the French. Take Las Vegas here now. I mean, this is going much better than I honestly thought it would have. I'm surprised the United States still actually exists in any capacity. It controlled the unions, which I think is pretty good. Um, what do we want to do now? Let's get our flexible planning. Why does, he, why does he look like that, but nobody else does? I I don't I can't I also can't tell if it's like I think it's just like an error. But that's fine. He can be dressed up as as a, like Skeletor. That is a okay in my books. Uh, the militia here. Sh I mean, what? How how close are you to death? At thirty two percent. It would be nice to take Sacramento. Our general has fallen ill. Who's who's the best in attack? It's the guy that we had in charge of the other army. Make him an infantry expert. Make our commander here an infantry expert. Yeah, nice bonuses on all of them. Our reinforcements are arriving from the north. We don't want to... I, I think I got to start preparing for the invasion of the United States. I mean, they, they've got to be very close to death. They might not even last 20 days, honestly. That is my professional opinion on the matter. But I think at this point, it's a good time to end this episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching my Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now, enjoy, Chloe, thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.